all you vagabonds, come all you don't belongs, winners and losers come people like me. Come all you travelers, tired from the journey, come wait a while, stay a while. Welcome to our post-Easter online worship. The Easter story stays with us for a few weeks as we explore together some of those encounters the disciples had with a resurrected Jesus. So thanks for being with us this week. a few moments of quiet. Let's think of the times when we've made excuses to get out of things that God wanted us to do, or when we've said or done things that were wrong. Let's come to the Lord, who is full of love and forgiveness, and tell him about those things. For turning away from you and ignoring your will for our lives, Father, forgive us. Save, Save us, us and, and help us. For behaving just as we wish without thinking of you. Father, forgive us. Save, Save us and, and help, help us. For failing you, not only by what we do, but also by our thoughts and words. Father, forgive us. Save, Save us and, and help, help us. For acting as if we were ashamed to belong to your dear Son, Jesus. Father, forgive us. Save us and help us. Together we say, Father, we have failed you often and humbly ask your forgiveness. 
Help us so to live that others may see your glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now may the God of love bring you back to himself. Forgive us all for all the things that we have done wrong and assure us of his everlasting love. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Stand among us at the meeting of our lives. Be our sweet agreement at the meeting of our eyes. Oh Jesus, we love you. So we gather here. Join our hearts in unity and take. Our reading comes from John chapter 20, beginning at verse 19. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you, as the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the marks of the nails in his hands, and put my fingers in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. There is so much to choose from in our Bible reading this week. Almost every verse is crying out to be turned into a sermon. So, here we go. No, it's okay. Just the one. In fact, slightly less than one, as our little chat 
here never quite feels like I'm preaching at you. And I'm not in church this weekend because it's the traditional low Sunday and a day off for a lot of clergy. So do you watch 24 hours in A&E? If you haven't caught it or can't, then it's just as you imagine. Cameras are placed around a busy accident and emergency and record what goes on. I've got to say for me, it's a bit like watching Doctor Who when I was a kid. Half the time, my eyes are covered. There was that broken ankle, a foot kind of just hanging by a thread. Even the medical staff were feeling a bit queasy. So but no, I'm really sorry. I hope you're not eating. <laughs> 24 hours in A&E, first century style. Jesus showed them his hands and his side. No speculation as to what they could see other than they were able to see that the wounds were visible. It was the first thing Jesus did after saying, hi guys. I think there is much more to this than showing off a post-operative scar. Do you want to have a look? Eight inches long and 25 stitches. You know the sort of person. Perhaps you've invited people to take a peek in the past. And not just once. He repeated the invitation when Thomas was there, adding that extra, go on, put your hand in. Really, Jesus? Slightly over the top, don't you think? Both times, however, making a significant point. It's me. It's real. And they're still there. The wounds still born on my body, on my resurrected body. It's part of the resurrected Christ. We now talk about the wounded healer, the saviour who still carries the marks of his life and death the signs of his incarnation and saving action. And the simple thought for the disciples who looked at the wounds, well, perhaps it was that it's okay to carry our wounds with us. The guilt, the shame, the fear, the horror, we might call it PTSD. And that forgiveness is not necessarily forgetfulness. And faith is not necessarily doubtlessness. We carry our life wounds with us. Sometimes they make us all that we are, but they can also make us feel less than we want to be or even should be. Healing can happen, sometimes quickly, more often over time. Wounds can disappear, but not always. Echoes of wounds can remain even if the visible scars disappear. We have a wounded healer. But we are also called to be wounded healers, just as the disciples were. Jesus said, as the Father sent me, so I am sending you. Like Jesus, it can be our wounds, our life scars, that authenticate our Christ-like service and ministry to others.
So may the peace of the Lord Christ go with us wherever he may send us. May he guide us through the wilderness, protect us through the storm. May he bring us home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown us. May he bring us home rejoicing once again into our doors. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with each one of us and remain with us now and forever. Amen.